This video was originally produced to educate parents of autistic children, but as you'll see throughout the video, mercury exposure can affect anyone. In this generation, we're seeing an increasing amount of transmethylation sulfation impairment, some of which could include an inability to properly detox the body, kill viruses, or modulate the immune system. It can come from both sides of the family, but the environmental element of toxicity during pregnancy can only come from the mother. Since the mother's brain is protected by estrogen, symptomatic signs of mercury toxicity can be masked until later years of life. This is a clip from a video published by University of Calgary called How Mercury Causes Brain Neuron Degeneration. Shown here is the neurite of a live neuron. Very low concentrations of mercury were added to the culture medium for 20 minutes. Over the next 30 minutes, the neurite membrane underwent rapid degeneration, leaving behind the denuded neurofibrils seen here. In contrast, other heavy metals added at this same concentration such as aluminum, lead, cadmium, and manganese, did not produce this effect. There are several hypotheses about the methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, MTHFR, polymorphism as a cause of cancer, and we see MTHFR polymorphism very commonly in autism in both the child and the parents. With a possible transmethylation problem that we see so often in this generation, I think the first step in becoming more healthy and to easily reduce a major risk factor is to remove any amalgam fillings. This study published in Carey's research in 2001 compared mercury levels in saliva from people with amalgams and people without. The results said we found the amalgam group to have significantly higher amounts of both organic and inorganic mercury. Our results are compatible with the hypothesis that dental amalgam fillings, in addition to being a major source of inorganic mercury, are also a continuous source of organic mercury. This citation was a rebuttal to the president of the American Dental Association by Dr. Board Haley, who's the professor and chairman of the Department of Chemistry, University of Kentucky. It said that elementary mercury from dental amalgam could work synergistically with other ethyl mercury sources and have a cumulative toxic effect on the body. This study published by Amy Holmes, Mark Blaxell, and Boyd Haley shows the average mother of an autistic child has approximately two more amalgam fillings than the mother of a typical developing child. This citation published in Massachusetts High Tech spoke about mercury removal from water. It said, according to the Association of Metropolitan Sewer Agencies, 80% of mercury in wastewater comes from amalgam fillings. Just one filling can push 250,000 gallons of water above the acceptable mercury limits. Let's see what it takes to remove dental amalgam fillings. And here's some comments from Dr. Homa Adler as she removes amalgam from a mother of a child with autism. The first thing to note is to use a dental dam when you're removing your amalgam. I became distracted when I noticed the mercury warning sign on the wall. It's a California Proposition 65 warning, and it says that dental amalgam used in many dental fillings causes exposure to mercury, a chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects and other reproductive harm. It also goes on to say that root canal treatments and restoration, including fillings, crowns, and bridges, use chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer. Then it says the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has studied the situation and approved for use all dental restorative materials. Which basically says California has found these materials to cause birth defects and cancer. But the FDA said, eh, it's approved. Well, they, when, they, when they started detoxing her for mercury, she recovered. How do you detox someone from mercury? I found it interesting that the American Dental Association would teach dentists how to put mercury inside teeth, but never even explain that you can remove mercury toxicity from the body. This plastic dental dam ripped, so next time I know to ask for a rubber dental dam. What do you see? First, it, look into my mirror. I see it. Do you see that black stuff? Yeah, it looks like, actually it looks like the, the filling's still in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's not, no, there's no filling in there. 
So that brown stuff is what? Just just discoloration of mercury. Let me clean it up better. So you basically, that's when the mercury has seeped inside the tooth. The tooth should be white. It's not going to go away. So how do you get the mercury off the tooth after? Nothing. I, there's no way for me to get it off. It's there. Unless you take the tooth out. It just looks bad. Right. You want to go in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get it from my mirror? I see it. I see it from the mirror perfectly. So all that brown is mercury. The only thing left was the seepage from the amalgam filling going into the tooth. And who knows where else. So do you think mercury uh, in filling should be illegal? Of course it should be illegal. I mean, this is what we see every single day when we take the uh, uh, mercury and the silver fillings out. I mean, you can see it. it it's, don't take my word for it. Just look at it. Why don't you think they make it illegal? Why? Because if they do, you know, all, everyone should be called in, all probably medical, all those free programs. Um, and it's a, like a recall. You think they have money to do this? I don't know. She thought that making amalgams illegal would bankrupt Medi-Cal. Either way, isn't it time to get these out of your mouth? We were just about to publish this video, and then we received more disturbing news. When they did the MRI, they said, yes, there is a pressured nerve, but you have a tumor in your kidney, in right kidney. And you know, I have never been sick, never ever had a problem, never had a cold. Eat healthy, I'm not obese, I'm not fat. And there's no history in my uh, family. I was just shocked. They took my kidney out and they took my, um, the nerve. I had a back surgery also. In a month, I came back to my oncologist. They found I have breast cancer. <laughs> did a mammogram, biopsy, a surgery, lumpectomy. It was in my lymph nodes. I was ready to kill myself because of chemo. There's a dentist upstairs. <laughs> he heard about me. He said, you know, I, have this, I had the same thing about four years ago. I bet you this, this has to do with mercury. What would you tell somebody with silver fillings or people that are thinking about Take it out and I tell everyone don't become a dentist. There are still big companies that want to push mercury and you can't stay away from it. But I have heard that in Europe, you know, they are going to ban it and mercury is not going to be around anymore. I just don't know what's happen why it's not happening in the United States. I wouldn't recommend anyone to become a dentist or anyone to have a silver fill.